promise of an eventual redemption appears to be the heart of all religions. And let's be frank, cults. What we are seeing playing out, and it is playing out, in Gaza right now, at its core, is a narrative that is at least 6,000 years old. The sons of Isaac were in line for a birthright passed down from the biblical Abraham. Twins were born to the mother, Rebecca. Esau officially was the firstborn stepping into the world, whilst Jacob held onto his heel. As grown men, Jacob tricked Esau into handing over his birthright in return for food. When Jacob was about to be given the blessing by his father, Isaac, who was now elderly and blind, he covered himself in hair so he would appear as Esau. And thus, the promised land narrative began. According to today's guest, the Zionists have placed themselves in the role of Jacob and the Gentiles in the role of Esau. And seeing that Netanyahu is now quoting scripture, it's very hard to argue against the stark evidence that this 6,000 year old agenda is playing out at a rapid pace. Remember, we do not have to believe in this for these lunatics to believe in this. Hamas was created in line with Israeli Zionists, politicians. They were created to remove the Palestinian movement, the PLO, and gain the trust of the Palestinian people. Just ask yourself the question, how did Hamas militants break through the most advanced surveillance in the world of motorbikes? The sad reality appears to be that this is an agenda for a new Solomon's Temple and what is called the world to come. That goes back 6,000 years and now these Zionists are trying to force the hand of what they believe to be God. And I say to you, and I say to you, the enemy will אני חוזר ואומר לאויבינו, אל תטעו בנו. The prophecy takes various forms in the Abrahamic religions, but they have been deliberately engineered to produce the same results and they are based upon uh, the cosmology of Genesis which says that there are seven days of creation and the real creation takes place in the first six days each of those six days represents a thousand year period and the clock began to run when Adam was created and the goal is to perfect creation by the culmination of those 6,000 years so that there can then be a seventh millennium, a Sabbath millennium, a day of rest. Just as we have the seventh day of the week as a day of rest, there will be a thousand years of rest following the culmination of the perfection of the world in the six days of creation which according uh, to the Kabbalistic calendar ended in the year 2000, according to the Hebrew calendar will end in the year 2240. Now they believe that there is a process of restoring and perfecting the world. And the end of that process is the destruction of non-Israelite humanity through a mutually consuming war between the two beasts of the book of Job, the Leviathan and the behemoth will engage in mortal combat and mutually consume each other and that will leave a remnant of the Israelites in Israel to uh, enjoy the Sabbath millennium of what they refer to as the world to come, Olam Haba. And what's happening is uh, Israel has tricked the West into becoming its defender, but they want the West to lose and the behemoth to triumph over the Leviathan. But the battle to be so self-consuming that ultimately both sides are consumed, leaving Israel standing as heir to the entire earth. 
And that was always the plan. And Christianity has been engineered that way in uh, Matthew chapter 24 and in the book of Revelations. They have uh, Christians hoping for this war to commence, believing that they themselves will be raptured into heaven while the rest of humanity is destroyed. So we have Christian Zionist agents in government uh, trying to um, precipitate and participate in this end times battle where East and West destroy one another and all of humanity is ruined. Judaism uh, rejected the idea of knowledge, science, and the arts, because they believe that those are derived from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and that to consume the fruit of that tree brings with it the curse of death. Adam and Eve were cursed to death and cursed to work the land and labor instead of enjoying the fruits of nature in the garden of Adam and Eve of Eden because they consumed knowledge. Uh, the Jewish people lagged behind during the Renaissance when the Europeans excelled by um, embracing the knowledge and science of the ancients. And uh, in the 1700s, there was a Jewish movement called the Haskalah, led by Moses Mendelssohn and others. And they followed uh, the, the, um, the beliefs of Kabbalah that eventually the fruit on the tree of knowledge would become ripe and then it would be kosher to consume and it would bear the fruits that it would teach humanity how to become immortal like the gods. So it would become the tree of life and it would teach humanity how to become androgynous like the gods. And so they started to pursue the arts and sciences and they eventually created reformed Judaism where it was no longer considered bad to pursue the arts and the sciences and uh, the Jewish community divided and there was a big split. They believe that there will be birth pangs for this Messiah. They call this the Hevle Mashiach the birth pangs of the Messiah. And that was also described in the book of Matthew in terms of the birth pangs that Christ uh, forecast. So when a woman gives birth, uh, there are a series of contractions which become more frequent and more severe. And that is why we are witnessing these more frequent and more severe calamities hitting mankind because they are imposing the birth pangs of the messianic era uh, by design. And it's very important for people to understand that they are fulfilling these plans themselves, though they are understood by Christians and Muslims to be prophecies that will be fulfilled by divine powers. They have always been understood in the oral traditions of Judaism as plans to be carried out uh, by the Israelite people themselves. They believe that these um, six days represent three of the uh, three of the cycles of the zodiac. In other words, a season. There are twelve uh, zodiacal signs that represent a year, so each one signifies a month. And on this calendar of the six days. A month is composed of 2,000 year periods, the periods of Taurus, Aries, and Pisces. Pisces was the age of Christianity, Aries was the age of Judaism and the law, and Taurus was the age of the patriarchs, beginning with Adam. And those are the initial six days of creation. So when we enter into the age of Aquarius, it is to be the Sabbath millennium. And all the work of Tikkun Olam has to be accomplished by that time.